Hello viewers, my khana aji yade 17th October 2024 de Nagaland Civil Secretary de Aigna se aro aji yade Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority Kanbra Conference Hall de Nagaland Emergency Preparedness Exercise laga opere meeting ekta matina se to IV itu meeting aro press briefing la opere silo bo. Today is a stakeholder capacity development program in view of the Nagaland Emergency Preparedness Exercise. This is the seventh edition that we are doing the statewide Nagaland Emergency Preparedness Exercise. Why we do and what we do on this day, the why we do is in order to prepare ourselves and what we do is in order to enhance the capabilities of the state, not only in the government but also in the private sectors like the NGOs, the communities or the private business uh, service providers to enhance our capabilities in responding to any event of disasters. That is what and why we are always conducting this. Now, today, our Honorable Advisor, Sri Nusuten Nute, he was here gracing the first event, precursor event, physical precursor event, towards the Nagaland Emergency Preparedness Exercise. He was here grazing uh, the occasions where line departmental nodal officers of disaster management and all the NGOs who are here in the state in the form of, we call it inter-agency group, which we have formed specifically for responding to the disaster management and we have also requested the department of telecom who is in charge of uh, telecom service provider and their partners like geo reliance barati airtel vodafone they were here we have also invited the Army and paramilitary forces present here in the state, they were here, along with the other <coughs> stakeholders, not from the government circle, but even from the NGOs. This year we will be simulating the extreme disaster event and we will also simulate that every telecom <coughs> tower in the state is collapsed or destroyed by the earthquake. And we will also simulate that the power line, LT, lower uh, the power line, and HT power line, all are damaged. So what will be the alternative to provide power backup we will also simulate that businesses in all the district's headquarters are collapsed. How are we, through the industry and commerce activity, how are we going to resume our business continuity? If there is no essential commodities, how much of stock of essential commodities in the districts are available? Running to how many weeks? Running to how many months? So some of the line departments will be bringing that. Now some of the uh, line departments will be bringing if roads are blocked and if the weathers are not good, do we have a geo coordinates of all the helipads? And how many helicopters, how many list of pilots who can be, you know, impaneled for emergency response. All those will be brought by the NSTs and other key line departments. So this is how we are going to simulate. We thank our media friends for coming to please kindly share with the public that we are going to do a Nagaland emergency preparedness exercise on earthquake and this is only a mock drill because last year's some of the groups in the WhatsApp were circulating that NSDMA has predicted 
earthquake to come at 10 a.m. No? So please kindly share that we don't want to create panic. This is a mock drill, not earthquake being predicted by the government. So this is one that we would like to request you to please kindly share. Secondly, we would like to also share the uh, activities that we are going to carry out. We will carry out in all the districts and we will have uh, different sites, the marketplace, the residential areas, the schools and the offices. We will be simulating that affected volunteers from the NCCs, volunteers from uh, Youth Resources Department, schools, they will be coming in to act as a victim and also to act as a volunteers for other uh, services to be undertaken during the NAPEX. Thirdly, we would like to also sh uh, request you to share that Nagaland time has come for us to push the envelope of future ready infrastructure and economy. Nagaland time has come to push the envelope of resilience, future ready infrastructure and economy. If we continue to do what we do in the building of infrastructure, if we continue to do in the building our economy what we do today, this state is going to be behind many other states. So every citizen in Nagaland should be interested in building every towns and the cities of Nagaland future ready, resilient in terms of infrastructure and in terms of economy. This is the big message that we would like you to carry and this is the big message that we would like to uh, bring forth during this NAPEX. The infrastructure's vulnerability that we have seen during this last this year's monsoons, life that we have lost, all those can be prevented if we do with the mindset of building future resilient infrastructure. Because we have not done it, we have lost our life, we have lost properties. So thank you for coming for this curtain raising event for the NAPEX. This is the first time we will be doing and we will continue to request you to work with us in, in building disaster resilience community for Nagaland and safer Nagaland. We will like to take any questions that you have and uh, we will be having the tabletop exercise on the 22nd October, which is on Tuesday. This NAPEX is being collaborated, supported by the Ministry of Home Affairs, National Disaster Management Authority, the head of department of the National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, is going to come to grace the tabletop exercise on the 22nd. And on the 24th, we will have the mock drill starting from the 9.30 a.m. There will be alarm bells at PSQ. Since last year, so we could not accommodate all the uh, stakeholders for the debriefing sessions because we are running in the rented uh, state emergency operation center facilities. So we have shifted our state emergency operation centers for this mock drill to Capital Convention Hall just in front of the Secretariat gate for the convenience. So I would like to also request you be informed that uh, as we go around and when we close in for the debriefing, we would like to request you to please kindly gather there at the specific time that we will be intimating to you at the Capital Convention Hall. We need to bring in the envelope to build resilient future of infrastructure, resilient future of Naga economy. Thank you. In these seven editions, so far we haven't faced any major disasters. But uh, how do you think, how well are we prepared to face any major disaster? The COVID-19 pandemic was a big 
big hit to us and uh, there are many lessons that we have learned there and uh, especially the COVID-19, the dashboard that we have built where especially the medical facilities informations were really real-time updated during that event. This time we are also going to integrate that. So uh, we are taking a baby steps but each steps is helping us to understand better and to do better and I believe this seventh edition of NEPEX 2024 is going to give us a new enlightenment for us. You were saying about the constructions and the infrastructures that have been built. So you mean to say that the infrastructures that have been built or made are not in alignment with the disasters that probably we might face? The infrastructures that we have, it's important for us to really assess how stable and how resilient these infrastructures are, especially in the road sector. Given the very fragile geological nature of Nagaland soils, even if you build the best, in uh, deploying the best technology because of the nature of geological nature, we are still vulnerable. You know, Titanic, during that period of time, Titanic was built by the best brain engineer available. And they say it's not going to sink. And they call it unsinkable ship ever built by human, human being, you know, those days. But four days, went down. So it's very good for us to do assessment. We call it risk assessment or vulnerability assessment. Every infrastructure, the bridges, the roads, the buildings, it is very important. When we talk about future ready infrastructure, it is important to, to have that infrastructure, starting from drainage systems to the building of big giant building facilities to roads. These are very important. And I think uh, this is the time that we need to look at it. If we don't look at it, especially in a place like Dimapur, the natural disasters will come and teach us to look at what we are building. Exact particular sites that we will be simulating, we have not uh, do that yet. We will do it on the 22nd only. So we will be also sharing with you the geo coordinates of the affected sites of all the districts. Sir, uh, any central thing coming for this exercise? Yeah. The from the Ministry of Home Affairs, officers will be coming down and uh, the HODs of NDMA, the head of department of the NDMA, who is the head in the National Disaster Management Authority, will be also there. Talking about the disasters or the natural calamity that we might face, I think in the past also we have been always talking about the uh, building bylaws, which is not there in the state of Africa. And the constructions that has been coming up, you see Koima itself, so many um, landslide bone areas, now they are constructing so many houses that are also big, big houses. So for them, how the department or the disaster um, management team Today, just a while ago, the municipal urban development, they have shared that they are going to constitute uh, another committee to look into the 2016, uh, I think we have the Bureau Standard of India and also from the Urban Housing, Urban Ministry, Ministry of Urban Development. So they are going to look at it, which one is best, and then they are going to synchronize and there will be a new building bylaws coming up. And all the more it's very important that now, that after 15-20 uh, years, the ULBs have come back to Nagaland, it is very important that we need to also give a capacity building for the ULB members newly elected that we are going to work together with the, the Department of Urban Development and Municipal Councils for capacity building of the newly elected uh, ULB members face manner on disaster management. Aromun Khanra Huni Panishna, Johnny Rongmai Juntu as a joint CEO of NSDMA, Taiwa Kwa Nishna, itu 
Naglen emergency preparedness exercise to stakeholders can be shared with Lucia Aro present at Agishe. It is program de Kuala Opode. It is seventh edition ase. It is Aro Itudo, a state wise major mock service on earthquake disaster management ase. Aro Taikanra, it is mock drill do, public places can, marketplaces can, schools can. It is a mock drill do, Luigina Java Gushe. Aro Taiwa, it is an important notice. It is a public can give panic. No gribi, Guina Guese, Kile Mane, Jadin Kande, Dusra Dime de. Circular can diam the tan mock drill conduct race in Yaquen the Manon public can rather it to Ulta Pavina, Osala divina glende, acta disaster happen hobolese. In Yala misconception can be the Gishi, it don't a Johnny Rong Mara Janai Dishi. Key, Taikan by it to mock drill though, twenty fourth of October day, hold cruelese, around nine thirty AM bra lovelese, which to public can bra, Arobi quidishi, key, Taikan by it to mock drill can to hold crina jayam de. Panic no grule. Are we to clan hoi hulibi? Rotaira it to be Janai di Sheki Nagalendo itiado future de infrastructure or economy be ready green at Hagibo like a Kilimane Mugan down or disaster hit Krishule. Mugana Nagalan infrastructure can do strong no hoi to withstand all these major calamities can Naparvo itu carne itiava tanba mock drill can conduct cream de Aro Taikanba program can inya luem de public can give Janai di Sheki Taikanba itu mock drill can conduct cream de Taikan lot pi. Cooperate Kurigina, you do mock drill can participate Kuli Janai Dishe, Tokwa Nishnado, Johnny Rongmai, who is the joint CEO of NSDMA, Taiwa Kobor Janai Divo Gushi, Kundu Dindi, mock drill Tagibo, Kundu Jagade Tagibo, Aru Kwa Nishnado, district sub the Idu mock drill hold Kurigina Javo Gushi. To Inyala updates D Tagibo, for more news and updates, keep watching Global Window. This is Nufu Ayer with video journalist Ari Jinger. Emporium Nagaland is India's leading aviation, hospitality and cruise line training institute with 100% job placement assistance in India and abroad. We provide customised workshops for various organisations and internship programme for college students. We aim to empower educated, unemployed youths with global opportunities. We love Emporium!